Hey all, uh, this is Salil from Adnabu. Uh, we make Shopify apps. Uh, we make apps for Google Shopping Feed as well. And today's topic is about uh, unit pricing measure and uh, unit pricing base measure, what they are, why you should use them, and what kind of products uh, you can broadly use them for. Uh, so let me get to the usefulness of this, uh, uh, the, uh, this, uh, this attribute, right? Um, this attribute is used so that customers can easily compare two different products. Right? I, I'll just give you an example. Now I want to compare, um, this is a shampoo uh, with 385 ml and uh, this is another shampoo with 440 ml. So for me to really compare the price, you know, I have to do a lot of calculation. It's going to be difficult for me. Uh, so using unit pricing measure, I can easily get an easy to compare uh, data. So here, Google has calculated what the unit pricing, unit pricing here is one liter. Now here also it's one liter. So it's a comparable metric and it costs 5.43. Uh, for this uh, shampoo and 18.16 for this shampoo. So I can very well see that this is uh, uh, much more expensive than uh, this shampoo. One liter is not constant though. So here you can see um, a metric for 100 ml, but even in this scenario, it's pretty easy to compare uh, uh, this product and this product because I can just multiply by 10. You know, that's, that's comparatively easy. So it will be 13.33 for one liter and 5.43 for uh, uh, this product. Uh, so uh, you know, a better comparison between uh, would be the second product and the fourth product, right? On a liter by liter basis, this product is more expensive than the fourth product. Now, what are, what is the data that you need to send? You're already sending price, right? So you don't have to do anything uh, there. What you have to do is um, send the, uh, for uh, the example of shampoos, you have to send the volume, right? For another product, it might be weight. Uh, for another product, it could be uh, the number of count. Uh, Google has given a very good explanation uh, of uh, the different things that you can uh, send. So you can send volume, weight, length, area, per unit, which is count. So for example, if you are selling uh, business cards, uh, you, you are selling not as a single card, you are selling 150 business cards together, right? Uh, so let, let, let me first tell you like, what is the data that you need to send uh, to Google? As unit pricing measure, you, you will send 385 ml, right? Um, so this is the, uh, the volume of the shampoo. And as unit price base measure, you will be sending one liter. Now Google will do the conversion for you, right? You don't have to send 14.9 for uh, uh, to Google. Google will do the conversion for you. You just have to specify how you want customers to benchmark this product on. You want it to so this uh, particular product. Um, they could have sent uh, uh, instead of one liter, they could have sent 100 ml as well. Uh, the key important thing here is the unit price pricing measure and uh, base measure should be of the same metric. Right? If you are sending ML um, in um, same metric as in same dimension, right? it cannot be two different kind of dimensions. The rest of the conversion, Google will do it for you. Um, let me take another example. So here the you, uh, unit uh, pricing measure is 250 ML and unit price uh, uh, base measure is 100 ML. Uh, this is extremely useful for customers to purchase uh, items in Google. And I would, and it actually in some countries, it is getting compulsory as well. Uh, do implement uh, this in your Google Shopping feed and you should see a, a good conversion rate from uh, Google Shopping campaigns or from Google uh, surfaces as well. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Let us know how we did uh, about the video in the comments below and please subscribe for more such videos.